The year is 50 BC. Gaul is entirely occupied by the Romans. Entirely? Not quite. One small village of indomitable Gauls still holds out against the invaders. And since it's a glorious day, let's go and pay them a visit. Here's chief vital statistics, minus his usual bearers. Cacophonix the Bard is busy composing the kind of ballad his mother once softly sang to him. And Getafix the Druid is feeding his doves. It's a picture-perfect day. The cloudless sky shows no sign of the terrible events brewing on the horizon. The trials and tribulations that yet again await our friends, Asterix and Obelix, the two most valiant warriors in the village. And where are our heroes exactly? Greetings, economic crisis. Obelix and I need to get a faraway Thule, and we need your boat. Impossible, Gaul. My boat cannot move from here. Why? Don't you have a crew? Obelix and I can... No, I've lost my boat license. Aquarium's legionaries confiscated it, supposedly because I docked up on their beach, privatising the beaches. It's a sad state of affairs, I tell you. I see. Don't worry, economic crisis. We'll go and get your license back from the aquarium camp. We'll be really polite about it too, won't we, Asterix? Really? You can do that. If you succeed, I'll repay you with ten. Or eight. Make it four free trips. Deal, economic crisis. Oh, wait for us here. We won't be long.
And I'm not, because I fell into it when I was little. Over to you, Obelix! Blah, blah, blah. Faster, Obelix! I like to take my time. Asterix! Oh, 
Do you think we'll come across any Romans, Obelix? Oh, yes. It's Roman season in the forest this time of year. No doubt about it, there's boar in the air. Dogmatics, do you smell what I smell? Smells like boar. Thank you. 
to you, Asterix. Huh? Over to you, Obelix!
Over to you, Asterix! This year's Romans are a tough bunch.
the goal are here! The ghost! The ghost! I... Sound the alarm! Yeah. <laughs> 
Sir, ask if this is allowed a drop of magic potion.
Hey, Asterix, let's bring them back to life and do it again. Once you reach Hibernia's western coast, keep north. Follow the stars. Cygnus, to be precise. Thank you for the directions, get a fix. So, to conclude, one valid boat license, one boat, a shipping route to Thule, and two passengers, one large, one small, and one item of hand luggage. Large? I think that merchant needs to get his eyes checked, Asterix. Are you sure he's safe to sail? Don't worry, you're not hand luggage dogmatics. The merchant isn't seeing right, that's all. Everything's in order, Gaul. Hop on for your first free trip. Come on, Obelix. Farewell, friends. See you soon. Take care, and take good care of the men here. Oh, it breaks my heart every time I wave them off. May Tutatis protect you, children. Go and get the barb to pipe down. They don't need headaches thrown into the mix. And so our heroes began their journey to the north, following Getafix's directions and the stars. They followed the Hibernian coast, politely greeting the Roman galleys they met along the way, and continued further north still, all the way to far, far away Thule. I'm hungry. Do you ever think of anything else? Hello, my friends. This is the Snuffle Helga Yokel. The what? The rock that can control the elements. Like ice and fire. Goody, goody, goody. It's a crystal men here. Go and see, Asterix. I know how to handle the men here. Still more Romans. Watch out for indigestion, Obelix. There you go. A pass to Obelix. My men here is definitely talented. I like hot countries. The Romans are crispier. We're not on holiday, Obelix. We have work to do. Don't worry, economic crisis. We'll be quick. Is it me, or is it a bit chilly? It's fight time! Let's show them how we do politeness. That men here is terribly charming. Even Dogmatics was starting to get a bit jealous. Oh, this is fun. 